Hello from IBC 2015. My name is Michael Jonas. I'm the product manager for the Alexa Mini. Uh, I'm, and I'm going to show you the news about our small successful camera that we show at this year's IBC. So as you all know, the Alexa Mini is our newest addition to the Alexa lineup, a small and lightweight camera that can be used on gimbals. It's quickly becoming a standard as a B or C camera on uh, TV and film sets. It's also very popular with owner operators who use it on drones. We are shipping since May this year. Uh, demand is going very strong. Currently, uh, the lead time is around 12 to 13 weeks. We hope to actually cut this down to six weeks until the end of the year. Uh, initially, we were shipping with a fiber reinforced plastic front end. Uh, but now, in August, we, uh, since August, we are shipping the full carbon body. So the front end is also full carbon now. Uh, and the camera is a beautiful piece uh, of German engineering. In terms of features, I think we always have to highlight the combination between uh, the, the new C-Force Mini motors, uh, which are very, very versatile because they get connected directly to the camera, so there's no motor control uh, needed. Uh, that allows for very fast change of the rigging of the camera, so you can go very quickly uh, in between a gimbal setup and a long lens setup, uh, or like a handheld setup. The, the real beauty of the camera is if you use it in combination with the WC04, which is our wireless control unit, uh, which not only allows you to pull focus uh, or control like three motors on the camera, it also allows for uh, changing kind of the, the operational parameter of the camera, like the frame rate, shutter angle, ND, and it has proven a very, very successful tool for uh, first ACs because they can react directly to every request the DOP makes. People flying drones, so far I haven't heard uh, that they have ever lost connection, so it is really a very successful combination and a really nice combination and kit uh, to be used. In terms of new features, uh, we show anamorphic D-squeeze and uh, the 4x3 sensor mode. At NAB we had um, announced that we, uh, the Alexa Mini is going to do ARRI RAW and 4x3. Um, the sensor is 4x3, we're working on the firmware and the software right now. What we are showing is a preview right now. It's the classical 4x3 mode, uh, which is also in Alexa, um, and an uh, anamorphic 2.0 D-squeeze. Um, in addition to that mode, when we release, we will also have a 6x5 mode, which, is, uh, which produces uh, a square pixel, like a de-squeezed uh, 2K TCI right out of the camera in progress. And we will also add an 8x9 mode, which produces a square HD center crop out of the image. That is mainly because we have had a lot of requests from TV productions who want to shoot anamorphic uh, for TV purpose without letterboxing. So they just want the look of the uh, anamorphic lens, uh, but not the format. SOP 3.0, um, which, which will be released in combination with Amira, uh, will share a couple of the features that Amira is um, releasing. So. Uh, the time-lapse recording functionality in Tevalometer will be in Mini, and also the multi-camera functionality will be added to the Mini, so that the Mini can be used in a, let's say, um, OB van-based or studio-based configuration with camera remote control, maybe on a slider or on a crane, uh, when Amira is really doing kind of the, uh, the pedestal work or the shoulder work. Recently, we've also started shipping the uh, Transvideo Starlight HD5 uh, ARRI. It's a little monitor from uh, Transvideo that we, de that we developed in uh, cooperation. Um, it has an additional serial interface on the power line, on the power connector, which we use to control the camera. So we leverage the touch functionality of the monitor to be able to change the operational parameter of the camera while uh, the, the camera is operated. So um, what it allows you to do is to go into a menu, open up uh, an interface which replicates 
the button interface on the camera, which allows you to change all the operational parameters in the top line. So you can easily go in, change NDs. We're also showing a prototype of the new CCM1 uh, control panel, uh, which is basically a viewfinder without the eyepiece. So it has an LCD screen that replic that is pretty much the same functionality as the uh, LCD screen on the MVF1 with a nice rotary encoder and all the button layout around it and the uh, user buttons and additional buttons uh, which are usually located on the viewfinder. The purpose for the panel is to be able to control uh, the Mini or Amira um, without having to add the viewfinder. That could be interesting, for example, steady cam rig or when the camera is on a small rig on a car or in, inside a car where you don't want to use the uh, full viewfinder and just have a smaller control unit because you're looking at the image, for example, on a monitor. Um, the neat thing about the uh, CCM1 is also that it's daisy chainable, so uh, you can connect the panel to the camera and connect the viewfinder to the panel. Uh, and that way, uh, you can put the uh, panel on the right-hand side of a camera and leaving the MVF1 on the other side, which makes a mirror and mini in a large lens setup or in a pedestal setup a more crew-friendly camera because the first AC can change parameters uh, on the panel. He can even actually check the framing or actually go into playback. This, uh, it's a neat feature um, and I'm sure camera crews will uh, appreciate the functionality. It's like with an Alexa camera, you have right-hand side control for the first AC and the DOP can continue to use the viewfinder. If you want to know more about Alexa Mini, go to our website at awi.com slash Alexa Mini. Thanks for your attention and see you next time at NAB 2016.